Okay, everybody, Jam Jager with Tyler Spots. I'm gonna clean a magazine real quick. Uh, this is a one from a men too. It's a, uh, I just got them in. That's the only one I had that was empty. I didn't want to have to empty mags to do this. Um, uh, the, the military magazine that hardly anybody uses anymore has a, a tab, and basically you pull up on this thing a little bit and pull it out. But I didn't want to go through how to take apart an FAL mag and a M1A mag and AR mag and AK mag, but they all usually have some kind of release or something on the bottom. What I will caution you about is uh, take one magazine apart at a time because there are even uh, we look at uh, like P mags, there's one Gen 3 P mag, and even though there might not be changes that are visible from the outside, differences in springs and followers and pieces uh, matter. Uh, Glock, same way, there's a bunch of different generations of Glock mags. Even within like the, the a generation two of a gun, there might be two d additional generations of a magazine. So um, use this little breakthrough uh, pick to, to push this, and then you slide the, this off. And uh, so this is a keeper. And you pull out the spring and the follower and pay attention to this follower is somewhat symmetrical um, and could be can be put in backwards if you're in a hurry or whatever uh, but uh, you'll notice on AR magazines that the up hump is always on the right side and uh, and that helps you but uh, and then uh, they usually have some kind of writing on them that would help you figure out which way but, but pay attention to that uh, pistol magazines have a, a pretty nice cant rifle magazines less less of one um, but this one of course is not dirty but if it were uh, if you, you guys I have a brush set on, in my Amazon store there's a link underneath that with that came with like all these all these brushes for twelve dollars on something and uh, and I use them you can use any, all these for cleaning cleaning these uh, magazines and your guns and stuff like that. It's a real, real cheap kit to get a bunch of brushes. This is a nice stiff bristle. If you need to clean the outside of them or whatever, it's got this thing's like a James Bond. It's got like this fold out handle and a scraper thing. I don't even know what this stuff is. It's like for kitchen use or whatever. But you would take one of these. And uh, here's the deal um, just water or soapy water to clean your magazines. Um, and don't clean them in your kitchen sink or anything like that. Take, get a tub of soapy water and take it outside. Um, people talk, make jokes about cleaning stuff in their dishwasher and stuff like that. You're gonna lead poison your family. That is just, don't do that stuff. Uh, but you would just take even just a dry brush um, and just brush it out. You can look through it to see if there's any gunk left. But if you would need it, usually the dry brush is enough. Uh, but if you would need it, you could use the uh, the, the soapy water or whatever the case may be to clean it up. Um, same thing with these pieces and parts. You would just clean them up. Um, uh, t tap them off. Maybe even air blow them dry before reassembly. You won't usually have a problem with rust with these. anything that's mil spec. They usually have a coating on them to protect from moisture. But uh, whatever the case may be, but you would just clean all of these pieces and parts and things like that. Uh, never, here's the big one, and, and if and if necessary, uh, you know, you had some uh, uh, grease or oil on it, you know, you could get the breakthrough solvent and spray on the mag and, and, and get that get that grease or whatever out, and if, especially if you got grease inside, which has happened because so I've seen so many people just squirt so much lube inside of AR-15 because you gotta run them wet, which is not true. Uh, watch my video on lubrication and cleaning of AR-15. But it'll actually get down in the mags, and so you got to get that, that that lubricant out of there. The reason you don't ever want lubricant inside of a magazine is it collects gunk. Like that's basically that's why you don't want extra lube on your pistols, rifles, and your mags, um, any in the mags at all, because all it is, if it's not on a bearing surface, it's just collecting junk, and you don't want that. Uh, you want it to to be absolutely dry inside of there. So brushes and pull that stuff out and then of course reassemble it um, cor correctly and um, wear glasses or keep this thing pointed away from your face when you're when you're when you're doing it come on come on <laughs> and uh, and uh, get that thing make sure that that pig or whatever bump or peg or pin or whatever is in there make sure it pops through um, and then you can just give your uh, your magazine a little test just to make sure it's moving and then load the damn thing because empty mags uh, are absolutely useless this is James Jager for Tactical Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends <laughs>